Big cuz with because little cuz. I ain't got no makeup on, so don't even say nothing. But it's, it's all okay. Good. Wait it's all good. Change. It's going down today, baby. We finna show you how Ella Williams' grandkids get down. What she passed on to us from the cha cha slide to the tootsie roll Woo! to the butterfly. Just hold on to your horses. That's it, and your wigs. <laughs> For most people, especially people in New York City where I live, when you hear Alabama, you might think of sweet home Alabama. But where I'm from, it sounds a little bit different. This is Ufala, Alabama. You might shrug at the name, but like many small southern towns, there is a very proud history, but not really for black folks or for the native Indians who this town is named after. I was born and raised here. I haven't been home in about two and a half years, and right now I'm visiting for July 4th, and I'm taking you on an adventure into the Deep South. Ooh. The thing that I love about the South is, of course, the food. Southern food brings everyone together back home. People know how to eat it, and people definitely know how to cook it. And I don't know about you, but when I return to the Deep South, I'm always on a mission to eat the food that I was raised on. With hot sauce. Try to have the hot sauce. Oh, this is from 19 something. When I sat down on it, it just like went to the ground. Can I even sit here? It's probably off limits. Not supposed to be sitting. If I mess up. All right, Tilly, you gonna do a little narration for me? Where are we right now? We are in the shorter mansion of Ufala, Alabama. Rumor has it slaves still hunt this very attic, and that's for real. Look at this. Slaves walk down these steps, mess, and down. But now look. What the heck? Look at this place. Now these are the owners. All right. Physician and planter. Eli Sam Shorter. Right there, sums it up. Good, not the baby doll. <laughs> what in the heck? Good. What? Why is there a baby doll in this thing? This is creepy. I see it in there. Ain't nothing going on there. <laughs> what? This is the room of all rooms that we should probably really talk about. Because as you will see throughout this town, there are lots of Confederate sympathies and flags and 
you know, statues that still exist. But of course, this is the deep, deep South. So it's something that um, it's just been a part of, of, of this town forever, as long as I can remember. Dr. Thomas McCoo, who is from this town, Eufaula, Alabama. He was the first black physician, right? Yeah, he's the first black physician um, in the town, and he has a school named after him, which my parents went to. It was called TV McCoo. So I did a lot in a very short time back home. I got some boiled peanuts, went to Piggly Wiggly, hung out with my cousins, ate Mexican food, went to the only club in town and did some karaoke with one of my best friends who was also my cousin. And I went to another cousin's wedding on a lake where I fought with some bugs and I saw some fireworks. Pretty eventful. But July 4th was the highlight of my trip. This holiday has always been a time where my family back home, we pretty much cut up. This is how we do as part of July. We got the tents going. We have the most uninhibited fun. It's been so many years since we've come together and this year will be no different. We know the strained history of the South, but we don't dwell on that. The Deep South still has a long way to go, but in the meantime, we have a good time with what we have. We eat good, we drink good, and most importantly, we love and we laugh hard. And that's the Deep South for me. What's it like for you? I know you're out there. I know I'm not the only one who's from the country. Drop your city or small rural deep Southern town in the comments below and tell me about it. To the left. Yeah. 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 Yeah.